Most backyards are normal, not ours. Ours is filled with some of the most amazing tree houses you'll ever see on YouTube. Tiny tree houses, giant tree houses, expensive mansion tree houses. We saved the very best one for last. Don't miss it. Come check these out. Welcome back to another Plinko Board Budget Challenge. Today we're doing one of the most highly requested videos on the channel. We are doing budget tree houses. It's not just Andrew and I though. We got Caleb with us. So how this works is we're gonna each take turns dropping the ball down the Plinko board. And whatever the ball lands on is the amount you get to spend at the store to build your own tree house. And as you guys know, every budget challenge is different because we change up the amounts, we change up the placement. So today we've got the low baller right next to the big baller. It's gonna be make or break for somebody. I am so thankful that Andrew's big baller streak has ended. Want to do another low baller amount? You want me to go first? Yes. Are you sure? Yes because I will hit one of these big ballers. If you do, I will slap Caleb. Okay, I'm going. I'm going now. Do it. No more hack for you. $18? You gotta be yeah. kidding me. Caleb, you go. L, you are L, such L, a rat. L, L, L. L. Now I feel a little bit safer going for the 500 now that the 18's going. Oh, 70, That's dude. not bad. Yeah, that not was bad. So close to the 500, though. It's my turn. Take my seat on the throne. 500 is mine. I have seen your guys' comments, and you're so right. I need to do the spin move every time because every time I do the spin move, ball arrives. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> Check out that spin, bud. What was that? Oh, oh wow. Whoa! Are you kidding me? You are done with the high ballers. Just go. All right, let's go to the store. For my tree house, I'm doing a really simple design since I only have $18. A little staircase going up the tree with a little perch. That's all I can do, but I think I can make it look cool. So with my budget of $500, I'm going to build a triangular base within three different trees that has a ladder going up to the main floor, make it a tree house mansion. I'm actually doing a square frame, and then I'm going to bolt it into the tree. I want to do it so that I can access the zip line from the tree house. Check this out, guys. An R pre-built ladder. One good thing about Home Depot is they usually have wood that's like on discount. Right, my treehouse supplies are done. I've got two of the two by eight, one perch platform and two hinges. So, so heavy. You gotta be kidding me. Back to the house, we got all of our supplies laid out. We picked out our trees. Let me take you to my tree first. So this is my tree I picked out. He's very, he's pretty wide, but very straight. Now I own three trees. I got this one this one and this one so i'm gonna be building my structure within this area i have this tree right here i'm building a square frame that's gonna go right here perfect little like tree house to access the zip line man <laughs> i'm measuring out my Whoa. my ladder so i'm gonna make two feet what? My structure is going to be as tall as this ladder. This is going to serve as the structure base to hold me up so I don't fall through and break my buttocks. Doing a standing test to see if this ladder works. Whoa, last staircase being installed. We have these giant bolts. I'm going to be drilling them through this into the tree. For firm strength so I don't fall over. Check it out guys, I have completed the structure. It looks pretty fresh. Man, I'm a good construction year. What? Hey fellas, it's strong! It works! This is cool. I'm like under your house. Look at this guys. I'm on top of my platform and Caleb has been working in the hot sun. I'm not sure what he's been doing. I think he's been having super glitches. Hey guys, day two here, super hot. We all melted yesterday. This could be bad. I'm very nervous. Whoa. I did not feel safe on this. Dude, that would hurt if you fell. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wanna get off. After two days, we are completely done with our tree houses. I'm gonna show you guys mine first. I hope you're excited, because I had $18. No oh, more hack for you! And 77 cents, that actually came in clutch. Welcome to the dweeb perch. Are you sure you wanna sit on this, Andrew? Look, I built this with my bare hands. This thing is sturdy. Yeah, show us the key features of everything. All right, so we've got the ladder, which I have tested already. This ladder is very secure. You know what I mean? 
Anyways, you go up the ladder onto the perch here, which is slightly sloped, but that's on purpose. The 77 cents, like I said, came in clutch because I used it to buy 50 cent paint and it covered up this here. It's all about aesthetics. And this is very yeah, aesthetic. I really pleasing. like the look of this. So are we gonna see you sit on this thing? You want me to go on? Yes. Wait, you dare me? I dare you. Don't you dare I me. Triple dog. How sturdy are these bars? Very, okay. Nope. Don't do that. <gasps> so nervous. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my. Dude, I'm so scared. Oh my. Holy crap. Shoot. Dude, I'm so scared. Dude, this is a good six feet off the ground. Dude, if it fell right now, I would like get really wrecked. I'm about to let go. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Is it moving? No. I have no room to maneuver. I can't let go of the tree because I'm too scared. Here's the reference to how oh my. Tall it is. Here's perspective. High. I'm six foot tall. This is so scary. Oh. But it's holding. It's working though. That's the work. This is incredible. Round of applause for Andrew, guys. Keep in mind, I had $18 and I made a tree house. Yeah! Now the question is, how do you get down? Oh, it's the worst tree house I've ever seen. So welcome to the Home Alone Yeet Express. Part about mine is that I actually have a zip line. I only had $70 to work with, so I didn't really manage my materials very well. So my ladder, I ran out so I had to improvise and make little steps on each side, but it actually works out pretty well. This. Yeah? Oh man. Oh yeah, you're nervous? Yeah. Please. Are you gonna send it down the zip line from there? Yeah. Send it, send it. Send, can I come up there? No, not no, not the same time. Yeah, oh. you should. Oh no. Isn't that like a proper test to see if it's a good tree house? What are you oh. doing? I'm coming up to say hi. Should I push Caleb? Yeah, you should probably give him a push. Uh-uh. Oh my, two people! Dude, it works! Uh, oh what my. was that? What was that? Oh! 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 Thanks, Macaulay Culkin. Welcome to the Pumpernickel Basket Tree Cathedral. Don't ask why it's named that, it's a really long story. So to start, we got the convenient ladder here. Now I know this is a fence post, but I didn't have to build it. Let's go upstairs and see what we got up here. Look at the spaciousness we have up here. I'd say this is a good 50 square feet. Oh, hey neighbor, how's it going? I like your house. Thanks, man. Let me know if you want some snacks. I will. All right. I might just head on over right now. Here, let me move my chair. Oh. Hey. That was kind of scary. <laughs> we have a nice wall so that we don't roll off with gates. But if you want an emergency exit, you kindly put the things to the side and you can eat off the side. But right here in this corner, we have a comfy chair for relaxation and bird watching. Man, I wish I had a chair. I'm glad you asked, Caleb. We got an extra chair right here on the side. Wow. Just for guests. Wow, look how much fun you guys are having. So we both can sit up here. It is maximum capacity of three people, so you could come up here if you want. We can? Not yet. So we'll have Chick-fil-A here in a minute, because as you can see, I had such a big budget. I bought my friends food. Hey, neighbor, can I come over yet? What is that? Oh, wait, it's the communication pipe to all the villagers down below. Hello, who's there? It's your neighbor, Andrew. Yeah, what can I do for you? Am I allowed to come over yet? Not yet, but thanks for asking. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is a key feature, the snack corner. I have a wall of snacks and drinks from all different categories. Cereal, chips, cookies, Pop-Tarts, oxygen, and then this, the Chick-fil-A corner. We can lift up the tray. We lift up this, bring it on the deck, and look what we have here, an extra table if we want to have a nice dinner as a family. Moving on to the next feature. Look what we have here, folks. A legit TV mounted on the wall. Comes with Netflix, all the streaming services you could want. It's perched right here because if I have guests over, we both can sit over here. If you move your couch and sit right here, we both watch a movie. So this is just so relaxing. Currently, it is daytime, but we have these nice bulbs to keep us company so we can see in the middle of the night so we don't get stabbed by bugs. Oh, neighbor, hey! Hey, can I come over yet? You look pathetic, yes, come over. Thanks. 
Just don't hurt yourself. Because we don't have insurance in this community. Oh, uh, why? We forgot about that. Have you ever had three people up here before? I haven't yet. Oh. Please be careful. I really don't want my entirety of the house to be destroyed. Hey, hey, hey. Let's uh, balance this out here. Did right, you, you sit down. It's like creaking. You don't think we should do like jumping jacks up here? No. Oh. Fellas, I wanted to show you this. You guys can have some, an oxygen boost. Mm -hmm. We have increased elevation by six feet, so oxygen is a little scarce. So when things get a little tough, we just... As you can see, it's oxygen. It has 90% pure oxygen in here. That way, I can breathe better being so high in elevation. So. Nope. Would you guys like some snacks? We have many. Yes! I want chicken nuggy. All right, you get chicken nuggets. What do you want? I want some nuggets. No, you have to have something different. That's a house rule. No guest can have the chicken. <laughs> Here, would you like I a... want some Pop-Tarts. Oh, you'd like a Pop-Tart? Okay. You can have a hey, beverage. I have a beverage from Black Cherry. Here you are. We Ooh. literally have cereal up here. Caleb. Oh, has... you get all those? Yeah, they're all mine. Said whoever claims oh, them first. What kind oh, of what? nugget is this? I... Wow. How'd you get so lucky? Good lord. Why didn't I get it though? <laughs> <laughs> You're making a mess. This is my house! I just don't like when people tell me what to do. In my house. Where's my beverage? For the fifth time. The disrespect! <laughs> oh my nugget hey. boy. <laughs> what? Are you wasting nuggets, boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, you can. You, are you guys okay? I still want my beverage. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I drink it too fast. <laughs> I drink it too. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know why I can't burp on this, but oh my! What the? Oh, I drink it way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> it is an eco-friendly environment, so if you finish your food and you don't want it, what the? <laughs> Come on! What's mm. wrong with you, man? Guys, what? Give it! <laughs> Andrew, grab some cookies. I love cookies! <laughs> Are you talking about these cookies? You know what's yeah. really good? You take an Oreo cookie and you dip it in Chick fil A sauce. Oh, Oreo cookie. Oh, oh, oh my god, that's what's up. Give me a car! Play your favorite color! <laughs> Alright, that's Doing it. it you guys go to your own house. I'm going to bed. I need to watch a movie. These are my cards! I'm eating your nuggets. Ow! Ow! Get! I will dump this entire milk on you. I don't want to be neighbors with you ever again. I don't want you out here. Ah! <laughs> I got the nuggets. Let's go. You guys are team all of a sudden. Dumping milk on us. My food and my house. It's because we're trying to play Uno and you chuck the cards off the deck. Because I want my own privacy. What are you trying to say you're a weirdo? Because I want privacy? Yeah. <laughs> Finally, some privacy. El Chapo. El Hoyo. Oh gosh. Chicken Nuggets about came up right there. You think you can turn it up? Yeah, we can't hear over here. What? What are you guys doing? We're watching TV from Caleb's house. I did not say you could watch my TV. Hey. What the? Now what are we gonna do? Man. <laughs> I can still see the TV. He's such an idiot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Are you like it, you jerk? Hey, do you want a drink? Can you hand me something down? Yeah, just put your mouth and I'll give you some soda. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Oh, sick. In this video, we're going to be turning our treehouse into a fish tank. This is either going to be the coolest treehouse we've ever built or we'll flood our entire property. Oh, give me down. Oh, I'm filming. We should shut it off. Cut it oh off. My. The whole side is bowing. This thing has been cracking major. This is going to be one of the most fun, most epic builds we've ever done. Or it could turn into a complete disaster. We really have no idea how to build a legit treehouse that's going to hold thousands, if not billions of pounds of water. So we need to go ask Samuel, the construction here. Samuel, can you build a treehouse? Sure. That's easy. Can you turn it into an aquarium? 
Oh gosh. Good enough for me. Okay, so if we're gonna fill a tree house and make it into an aquarium, it's gonna be like 23,000 pounds worth of water. Which is equivalent to the weight of the British Aerospace Jetstream 41, which also leads to the problem of this being a tree house. There's no ground to hold 20,000 pounds. Do you think this thing's gonna hold 23,000 pounds of water? That's like three elephants. Do you think these three trees could hold three elephants? I hope Sam's calculations are correct. It's falling. All right, catch, boy. By the way, Hyper is in this video because building a treehouse that can hold 23,000 pounds is really difficult and takes a long time. Three months to be exact. How good of a build is it? <laughs> Very good. This can hold thousands of pounds. Seth, we need your help too. Oh, what the blank? You know, the Whoa, how much water you put in it? It's gonna be like uh, 2,000 gallons. What? <laughs> this yeah. is like the weak part. Well, these are fine. That's why we're gonna put stilts underneath it because this isn't actually gonna be holding it. We're gonna put stilts underneath it because that's actually not gonna be holding it. Holy oh God! <laughs> we'll try to slide it more on my side. Set the pain attention. Yeah. <laughs> Holy nuts! Wait, why are we going this way? <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't listen. <laughs> Guys, you're not listening. There's gonna be supports underneath. Oh, good. Oh. Blake, how confident are you in this I got it. Very doubtful. Why? Because this thing is uh, three elephants weight. <laughs> Samuel has been working on the new submarine going to the ocean, which is also why this project has taken so long. So don't worry, we're going to the ocean and it may be happening sooner than you think. Woo! Uh, these are technically the windows, but you know, it works. All right, come in the actual door now. This does not seem safe. Dude, this is epic. Get down here. This is too high now to get down. <laughs> no. Dude, this is so cool. Honestly, this is one of the coolest tree houses I've seen. And this is going to become an aquarium. We are standing in what is about to be water. Imagine standing in here. There's fish all around you. You're in a scuba suit. Next level legendary. <laughs> You're on the wrong side. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't make sense now. The, the viewers are confused. That was, that was pretending I was in the treehouse. Samuel's up there putting our roof on. I can't tell you guys how sad I'm gonna be if this whole treehouse collapsed when we put the water in. Samuel and Blake have put so much work into this. Look at like all the details, just from the windows. You got everything exactly put together how it should be. We got insulation, nails in every possible hole. What? This treehouse better not break. Oh no, don't fall. Just try not to die. <laughs> Man, how high up are we? Gotta be like 20 feet. We've been working on this treehouse for so long that Hyper has been off the team for two months, even though he was in this video. Ow. But Samuel and Blake have been working tirelessly. Now let's go see what updates they've done. Guys, leave a big old like for Samuel because this is literally like his baby right now. Hey y'all. Oh, am I going up? Yeah. This is a cool over the over the shoulder view of climbing a ladder. I'm gonna pause here just to show you guys the windows. Yes, this thing has actual windows. So when it's filled up with water, you gotta be able to see inside. Check out the progress, guys. It is crazy in here. It's entirely insulated. Samuel, what have you been doing? We're putting in all of this plastic because we're trying to make it like a swimming pool and just have it totally sealed. And then we're using waterproof sealant tape to seal all the seams so that we don't get any leaks. The windows, are you guys cutting a hole in the plastic? We're gonna cut a hole through the plastic. I can't even imagine this entire treehouse filled with water. This is gonna be one of the coolest things we've done. Keep that in mind, we've built a submarine. Yeah, hopefully this thing doesn't <laughs> fall apart. If this was done before, we could have tested the submarine in here. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel, how close are we, or you guys, to finishing the Treehouse Aquarium? Probably like two dedicated days of work. We're at the finish line, Andrew. Dude, I am so excited. Not only is this gonna be an aquarium, this is already just one of the coolest tree houses I've ever seen. Can't wait to get the whole team a in here and dive. swim. We can all swim in here, Caleb. A high dive? Yeah. Oh no. It is looking fantastic in here. Sealed up to the nines, ready to be filled up with water. If anything happens to this tarp, any cracks, cuts, or slits, it's ruined. I don't know if these windows are gonna work. They're just plexiglass. These are a few outcomes that could happen with us inside the treehouse. While filming, one of us could drop the camera into the water, causing an electrical shock wave to electrify us while filming. The water pressure could blow out the base, causing the walls and the entire treehouse to collapse on us, suffocating us and hailing us as we die a slow, painful death 
calling out for Rick. Not even to mention one of the boards in the ceiling could fall down, knocking us all out, causing us to drown. And no one would know because we're the only three inside the treehouse. Heck, we could even be hit by a meteor for all we know. Today is the day where we fill up the treehouse with water, finally. So excited, let's do this. Yeah, hose, changing hose, the hose acquired. Andrew, hand me the hose. You guys, you've got to hit that subscribe button. We've been working on this video for four months. We're finally gonna fill it up. Are we ready to turn on the water? 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 Stanley, you're turning on the water. Oh crap. Oh! Yes, the water's officially here, guys. It's working. It's working. Guys, you've got to leave a like. This water bill alone is gonna be insane. So this has been going for about an hour now, so we're checking to see what the progress looks like. Don't tell the guys, but what I'm worried about is that this whole thing is just gonna like explode off of the tree. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it's actually leaking. Little bits of drip right there. We have a problem. Treehouse is leaking. There's like a hole that I didn't find. And you can see it's not like too much right now. We're definitely still filling up a lot more than we're losing. Is there any chance that the guys getting inside of it will make it worse? I mean, obviously. What I'd be really like worried about is they like jump in and do a cannonball and then all of a sudden all these stilts just like buckle and the whole thing falls and then water just like erupts everywhere and they're getting wood all over the tops of them and nails stabbing into them. That's kind of like worst case scenario. These are to heat it so that the water doesn't freeze overnight because as you can see, there's lots of snow everywhere. This says for metal tanks only, so hopefully we don't melt our plastic. I'm melting the plastic. It's making like the hissing sound that like a kettle or like a iron makes. Looks like we have a few new leaks as well. We have one right here. See right here? It's coming down. Do we drain it all and then replace the tarp so that we have something that's not leaking? Or do we just keep going with it because it's definitely filling up more than it's leaking? Oh no. We have to decide if we want to drain the whole thing and repatch oh, yeah. or keep filling. Drain it and repatch. This is going to be draining all night like this. There's no way the holes are going to get better. The only thing is they could either stay the same or get worse. Yeah, they could get bigger. Drain the aquarium. We're gonna redo the lining on the inside and we're gonna get a water truck to fill it up. That way, if we have a water truck out here, it'll get all the water we need in there ASAP. And the water will be very clear so we can put stuff in it and it'll be a vibe. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, and then if it leaks again, we'll just have to full send it. Guys, today is the day. The water truck just arrived, has 2,000 gallons of water that we're gonna put straight into the treehouse aquarium. Let's hope this works. Have you ever uh, delivered water to a treehouse? I have not. Is it, that valve, is it open? Is it, is it at 90 degrees or straight on? Valve is on. We completely changed out the lining of the aquarium because we figured out the source of the leak. We used two different types of tape. We used Flex Seal and then some knockoff brand. The knockoff okay. brand failed and ripped. So this time we're only using Flex Tape. Send it! It is like, so far so good. I haven't died. I am most nervous about these windows. I don't know if the water pressure is gonna break the windows. You think they'll work, Blake? Yeah, the windows are nice. The windows it. are nice. Windows are nice. <laughs> Not only are we worried about the treehouse just falling apart itself because of how heavy everything is, but this is the biggest concern, plexiglass. This isn't real glass, it's very thin. So if all else fails, the water could come blasting through the window at full force. You're not worried about the plexiglass windows at all. No, I'm not worried about the plexiglass windows at all. What I'm worried about is 23,000 pounds on top of the stilts and the whole thing falling. I'm getting down. <laughs> Why are we standing up here, Caleb? <laughs> I don't know how to hear that. I have like, you're like cracking. Yeah, I did hear some cracking. I don't know what that was. The water is almost to the windows right now. Look at how epic this is. Oh my gosh, dude, that is insane. This just doesn't even feel real. A treehouse aquarium. So far, so good though. We have no leaks. None of the wood boards are bending. Everything is looking perfect. But at the same time, at any moment, a catastrophe could happen. The water has just reached the window. Now the true test happens. Holy cow, dude, look how cool that is. How is there that much water in there? Oh my gosh. I know. Oh, dude, this is so cool. There's the water. Oh! Get me down! I'm filming! I keep the water off! I don't know. Legit, I'm hearing cracks right now. Oh shoot! We should shut it off. Dude. Shut it off. Oh my. Nope. Turn them off. Turn it's it off. okay. 
careful. No, it's okay, it's okay, keep it going. Oh. <laughs> the whole side is bowing. Oh, that board, dude, look at that. That board right there. Holy cow. I am so nervous right now. I don't know if you guys can hear the cracks right now, but this thing has been cracking majorly. The water tank ran out of water. That's how big this tree house is. Just 2,000 gallons of water didn't even get it above the windows because Samuel's math was wrong. And so. we're, we're about to go get more water jugs and we got to get our aquarium supplies. So. There's about 20,000 pounds of water in there and we have to add more still. Samuel's reinforcing. <laughs> we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna jump in this thing. Leave a light. We just got to the pet store. We're gonna grab some goldfish, head back, and turn it into the fish tank. So once we're done with the video, guys, we got this fish tank. We're gonna put all the fish in, mascot for the warehouse. The leaks are getting worse, so we have to do this quick. We are back with the goldfish. We're gonna put them in the water and get them acclimated in this bag. And then once they get enough time sitting in there, we'll set them free, add more water. And by the way, guys, the fish we got are actually feeder fish. So they use these fish to feed other animals like turtles and whatnot. But what we're thinking is we're actually saving these fish from getting eaten. We're taking care of them. Fish are friends. Not food. It's unfortunate we didn't have enough water and that the treehouse was trying to explode. <laughs> it's officially time to see if this aquarium works. Ready, fellas? Ready! Your hair looks fine, Caleb. It hurts. Look, I have like to climb into these. I do not like these. Guys, I'm like really nervous. <laughs> it won't be the whole wall, Caleb. It'll be like one board and you just hang on. No, we're gonna get sucked out. It's gonna collapse on us. We're gonna drown from the water and then get bludgeoned to death. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Here I go, fellas. Oh, glad you're going first. Oh my gosh, this water is so cold. Oh, mm, it lands. It's so cold. Dude, this is awful. What is that oh. smell down there? It's these stupid flippers. It's so cold. Do you want down there? No. Oh. Okay, if I swim, can I get out like immediately? We all have to be underwater together. Yeah, let the fish free. Dude, it's so cold. They're going to freeze me. <laughs> I don't even want to do this. Oh. Oh. I can't breathe! It's so cold! Today, we're gonna turn this treehouse into an invisible treehouse. We haven't been in here since we turned it into an aquarium treehouse, so let's go see what's inside. Apparently, we still had about 200 gallons of water still in the treehouse. We gotta get that all out, and then we can start designing the Invisimod. We've made an invisible gaming room. We've made an invisible boat. This is gonna be one of the best ones yet. Going in. What'd you find? Oh my. Wait, this has someone's shoes on it. Dude, these are so slimy. There's, There's like it. fungus in here. Oh! Ah! Like, get out quick. No, I'm not coming in there. Where's the mold? Here. Uh. And it's on the slippers, too. Well, oh, see ya. Since the other treehouse was so full of mold, we had to build our own brand new treehouse. Samuel and Blake have been constructing this. They got the platform here. We're ready for walls. They also built these walls the exact dimensions of the mirrors we are going to buy. You notice what's different about them? Uh-uh. Andrew? Oh, because- They're inverted. Oh. <laughs> Push with muscles. How uh, steady is the platform? Oh, pretty steady. Can you imagine if you talk to a construction crew who is building a sky sky uh, skyscraper and you ask them, how is it looking? And they're like, pretty steady. You'd say- Skyscrapers move. But if they said pretty <laughs> steady, I'd be a little nervous. They design skyscrapers so when the wind blows that they're able to twist and move a little so they don't come yeah. crashing no. down. Yeah, no, it's a fact. Yes, science! Whoa! That scared me. Whoa. Dude, this is so high up. You were just talking about how tree houses are infinitely more cool the higher up they get. Yeah! You said this could hold like 10 people. Probably. I don't know that I'd recommend like a dance party, but it should be able to do that. Keyword, probably. Probably is like my, uh, <laughs> it's my waiver on all my work. Ready for wall. Ready for wall. Oh, oh, oh I got gosh. you, I Camera. got you. Oh, thanks. Oh. I believe in my work. Why would I be nervous? Exactly, that's what I'm wondering. I'm guessing this is the entrance. Yes. Yes. Ah! Oh shoot. Andrew's one handy. There we go. Oh, I'm pretty strong, guys. Don't worry. Fire. 
Blake, why are the blocks like about to fall over? They're not. Look. Look how sturdy that, that is. is not sturdy. Guys, it is day two of the Invisible Treehouse build. We have the structure basically all done, but today we are installing the mirrors, which is gonna make it invisible. And this treehouse is actually gonna be really cool because we've learned a lot from our other invisible items, like the invisible boat, the invisible gaming room. We're not able to see outside once you're inside of the structure, which is why we have a two-way mirror for this build. This side looks like a mirror, but the other side you can see through it. Yeah, you guys probably can't see what's right above me, but the treehouse is actually also painted camouflage. This is a secret entrance. Ah, whoa, guys. That's how you get in. I don't know if it's fully installed yet, but it doesn't really feel like it. It's time for liquid nails. Where did you say, by the way? Uh, you may want to do the mirror first, now that I'm thinking about it. What? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to put up the first mirror, except what does this mean? It might not be broke. Huh? Are you sure? That doesn't sound right. Hey! Yeah, it might not be broke. Oh! Big heavy mirror. Oh gosh. Look, like you're disappearing. Oh crap! Even with the first mirror up there, this is already looking pretty sick. Down there, that whole beam, like, oh, nervous. Oh, hey. Hey? Oh. What are you doing here? And just like that, the first mirror is installed. This is not what real construction ears do, by the way, guys. So if you're trying to make this a YouTube tutorial video, don't. Step-by-step <laughs> -step instructions will be in the description. Supposed to hail today? No. I genuinely love making these invisible items with the mirrors because it just looks so cool. Check this out. What? <laughs> this burns my face. You're gonna have sunburn after this, Andrew. You guys got it? No? No. We're at Lowe's now because we need to get some more hardware. We have another mirror we have to get, but we need hardware to help support this treehouse. It's a little wobbly right now. Yeah, every time I've asked Samuel what he thinks of the build, he's like, sure. <laughs> Which does not give me confidence that this is going to stay up in the air. We need these, but they need to be 10 inches. The big screws. Back in the car, we got the mirror all loaded up. So we've already broke one mirror. But if Blake breaks the next mirror, he has to go bald again. We cannot afford to break any more mirrors. This will be his punishment. What in the jerry rig is going on? I see what you're doing here. The tree is making it more blended in. Uh-huh. And definitely not a stability issue where it's like so janky and wonky that the whole thing feels like it's gonna collapse and so we're adding more supports to it. Right. Yeah. yeah. We would never do that. It's definitely got to be a first in our builds. I've never seen a dead tree used as a stability support beam. Once the tree house is officially completed, we're going to have someone come and find us, which is going to be a challenge because it's invisible. Whoa, Blake's hey, Blake, disappearing. Blake, what the? This mirror we got, if you break this mirror, you have to go bald. Keep that in mind. Not again. <laughs> There's three of us up here now. Blake is going to make the fourth person. It's a lot better with those wood. This is officially the max weight we have had, but we're going to keep adding mirrors and it's going to get heavier and heavier. 180 pounds of mirrors are the ceiling. And this gargantuan mirror. What does that make weigh, Sam? Uh, we'll just say it's like a thousand pounds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Once all the mirrors are up, the only way in and out is through a ladder that goes through the floor. This isn't going to work. Blake, climb on up. I don't like that. Better ladder. Yeah, I got We got the uh, anchors put in. Now it's time to do an official test. This thing better hold. Please don't break. All right, test number one. Nice. Oh. Gosh. <laughs> Grab onto the hooks. <laughs> the hooks. The hooks. Oh. Where are you going? I'm trying not to lose. Yeah, you gotta win. <laughs> Whoa! Oh gosh! Where are you going? Oh. Are you going down? Oh, this is hard. I guess it technically works. <laughs> hey, Justin. How's that? Better. Oh, yeah. That handhold. Great idea. This is the last wall mirror before we install the ceiling, so it's a pretty exciting day here in the treehouse. Oh, gosh! You. I did not mean to do that. Look at how complicated this is getting. We have to go through the roof in order to get it on this piece over here. Remember, if uh, any mirror breaks, Blake has to go bald. Yay! It's time to install the roof. Oh, sheesh. You know, 
At any moment, this roof could collapse and mirrors would go everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Too bad. <laughs> what if it breaks and just cuts all your fingers off? No more uh, ukulele for Samuel. No more ukulele. Pretty good. We haven't given you guys a proper tour as well. So we're gonna start over here. We got a, a nice chair. Beneath the fan, we have a thing full of a different sort of snacks. We got a PS5, of course, with a flat screen TV. And over here, we got a nice light, basketball hoop, and another chair. So everything we need to just have an epic treehouse. Pass me the football, bro. Oh, yeah. Here you are. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can place. Anyways, Blake also just called us and told us that this light on, you can kind of see it through the one-way mirror. So, we're going to be turning that off. Oh. Mm. That just made you guys insanely thirsty. Also, if you guys haven't noticed already, we have brand new merch for sale at jace2shop.com. This stuff is epic, and we haven't launched new merch in a while, so we'll definitely want to grab some. New all-time nuggets? Nuh-uh. Come on, Jokic. Jokic. The ball to Jokic immediately. What? Oh, what? Oh! Uh, the other thing to be worried about is if there's randomly a hailstorm. Our roof would be broken. Immediately. And there are some dark clouds outside. He should be here any second, and once he gets here, we're gonna call him, tell him the rules, and let the games begin. This one-way mirror costs $3,000. That's a lot of money, but oh my goodness, it transformed the whole vision of the treehouse. Oh, Josh. Andrew, hello. Justin and I are hiding somewhere. You have 30 minutes to find us. If you do, we will do something to upgrade your Minecraft setup. Oh, I, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Time begins now, good luck. Okay, he hung up on me. Let's go. <laughs> I do actually watch their videos, so I have a little bit of an idea kind of how they how they hide. Whew, it's hot as eggs without the pan. I can literally see him. He's all the way over by our treehouse aquarium. Which that's where we were gonna build this. Remember, the intro was over there. Do you remember what this video is from? This was uh, Giant versus Tiny Coffins, right? That's right. Let's go. Oh man. Oh man, we should've got binoculars. Is there a way in here? Or there is. There is. But if you look, if you look at clues, it looks like it's been here for a while. So you're telling me that they're not here, which means they're here. Sure. <laughs> I don't think they're here. We didn't plan this, but if you just look around the property, we actually have a lot of decoys just laying around. Like, what is that box doing out there? What is that little chicken coop thingy doing out there? We've got hidden boulders, random bunkers. There's so much stuff. This is a lot harder than you think. You gotta be a detective, man. Need your best Batman impression. Where's Martha? Why did you say that name? Why did you say that name? So unless they're in the coffin, I don't think they're on this side. Anybody in the giant hole? I don't think there's anybody in the hole. Oh, he's on the treehouse. He's oh. climbing up. Uh oh, Andrew, are, are you in here? Super zoom. Dude, that's insane that we can see him this far away from the tree. I think so. Oh, there's bees in here. I don't like bees. Yeah, no, I don't think they're in with the bees. Oh, he didn't, he's not very thorough. Look at him. We could have been like up in the rafters in the hidden room. No, it's just wood. Being thorough though, I like it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish sweep in the outside and then we'll work our way inside. Surprisingly, Josh is walking. He must not want this Minecraft upgrade. How did he not see it? They didn't try and like hide somewhere and I gotta dig them out of something, did they? I don't know, man. Oh no, I guess we're just gonna check the, the buildings now. Hello? Ah, oh, there's mods in here. There's mods everywhere. Ooh. If they're hiding under the hay, the, GG, you win. I don't wanna touch it, that's nasty. <laughs> and let's go. <laughs> Dude, we got a front row seat to the entertainment. Man, we should have got some popcorn or something. What are you talking about? We got a whole box of snacks. Wow. I think we need some cereal. You said popcorn. I said corn pops. Let's go. Ah, there's more mods. They're <laughs> trying to fly into my face. He's going in the chicken coop. <laughs> ah. It smells like oh. chicken. Oh, crap. That's a wasp. Ooh, that's a big guy. Get out. Get away. You stay in there. More mods. <laughs> 
So far, he's looking in all the really obvious spots. Did you say really obvious spots? So they're not in here. I didn't say nothing. I think you said something. Are they in here? No, they're not in here. They can't be. Unless you're trying to trick me. Warehouse, I guess. I don't know. You wouldn't happen to have seen uh, a certain Justin or Andrew around here, would you? No. Where are they at? I, I was hoping you would know. How long have you been looking? I don't know. He's trying to waste my time. I gotta go. It's, the sun just came out from the clouds. I don't know if this reflection or this light or whatever like reveals us in here. I don't know how that works. Yeah, so maybe stand back just in case. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, not much, I'll eat. Uh, it's been all right. No, there's not enough space for them to hide in here. <laughs> there's no way. See you, Matt. See you, Matt. Thanks for all the work, man. Yeah, for sure. They're probably hiding in that, like, cricket-filled hole. I'm gonna have to go into that... Yeah. If I just remember where it is. Josh has 10 minutes left to find us. Uh, I'm gonna give him a quick call. Oh, Blart. No. There's a bunch of holes all over the property. Is that your uh, phone? It's Andrew again. Andrew, hello? Josh, what's taking so long? We've been watching you this whole time. This whole time. Josh, I'm literally looking at you right now. Yo. <laughs> we can see you, and we have been watching you the entire time. So, would you hurry it up, please? Gotta go. Uh, okay. <laughs> he hung up on me. Wait, we gotta keep quiet. Where would they be looking at me from? Are they on the roof or something? Josh has less than five minutes to find us. Super zoom. Right there, Andrew. It looks like he's walking right this way. Let's check the hot tub real quick. No. Oh, you made it right yes. here. Yes. I would definitely not want to swim in there. That's nasty. <laughs> oh, I know they've hidden this thing before. Oh shoot, he could see us at any second. I don't want to stand close. I know he can't see Wait, this thing. Wait, should we turn the TV off? Yeah. Hurry, turn it off. Wait, how? Shut it down. I'm trying, unplug it. Okay. No way, dude. No, he can't see us, remember? Oh, right. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, dang. Dude, he literally has no idea. Oh. So he can't hear us. Ah, uh, I want some Twinkies. Oh, dude, I'm actually nervous for some reason. Doing this kind of stuff. Huh? Anybody in here? Ah, there's a moth in there. <laughs> Josh definitely watches the videos. He's checking this little tiny chicken coop we used for a different video. I think he, he knows we've built bunkers before. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. <laughs> Is there something in here? Now what about in the conveniently placed box? <laughs> if he just looks this way, he'll see. Oh, he won't. We're invisible. I keep forgetting. Dude, this is nervous. We're literally just looked at it. Oh, shit. I heard something over there. I heard something. <gasps> you don't no. hear you. No, he didn't hear me. Yes, he did. No, he has no idea. He didn't see anything. He still can't see us. Did that. Hmm. No, freaking no. I thought I heard something over here. That is really well hidden. What the heck? No. Uh, he has no idea how to get up though. <laughs> I can hear somebody in there laughing. Oh, oh crap. How the heck? Oh, Josh. What? I have like zero muscle. <laughs> you have lots of Minecraft muscles though, right? Yeah, but those are on my computer at home. <laughs> Bruh. Or one way mirror. We were standing here watching you the entire time. You were about to leave, huh? Maybe. I was about to go like check the shed and then go check inside. No! Because you found us in under 30 minutes, we're gonna give you $500 at Best Buy. Oh. Sell whatever you want to upgrade your setup. Yes. We're gonna be spending the night in the world's most expensive tree house. The owner emailed us and asked if we wanted to stay the night in what's literally the most expensive tree house in the world and is worth over $1.6 million. So of course we said yes. We wanted to make this overnight as fun as possible. So we're gonna get a few supplies on our way up and the guys and I came up with 10 things we have to check off a list before we leave tomorrow. So we have a special occasion happening tonight. Night, we got a dress for the occasion. We're going to the world's most expensive tree house. Hey, you're crazy, man. Get, put the shoe on. Seriously, if you want to come to the tree house, by all means, we'll be there all night. I'm not going there. When we show John pictures. He's getting off work early. Trust me. Okay. Oh, jeez. Hello. You are free tonight. <laughs> Give me a call. Justin, thank you, buddy. We found out that not even a mile from the tree house is a Sasquatch outpost owned by professional Sasquatch hunter Jim Myers. Jim claims this is the home of Sasquatch, so we had to stop by and get some gear 
gear for ourselves to hunt for Bigfoot later tonight. I didn't even know this existed, but we just made it to the Sasquatch outpost. Apparently Sasquatch lives here. This is actually pretty dope in here. Sasquatch merch. All right, where's the evidence? Where's the museum with the evidence? Sasquatch sightings 2021. This is like legit. I glow. <laughs> I, Jim, film Sasquatch. Where is Jim? Are you Jim? I am. <gasps> no way. We are pulling up to the treehouse right now. We got a gate to the treehouse. Well, yeah, it's the most expensive treehouse. Let's go inside. Keep in mind, this treehouse is worth over 1.6 million. That's crazy. Guys, no way. There's a welcome thing. Welcome, more J. Stu. Justin, Andrew, and crew. Them right there, this is for them. We are so excited to host you all at the said treehouse. Please make yourselves at home and enjoy your time together at the world's most luxurious and expensive treehouse. Yeah, yeah! Oh my goodness. I just found this remote. Dude, flame on. Flame on! Oh, dude. Now this is luxury. Now we can have great deep personal conversation. Oh no. So throughout the night, we have a list of 10 things that we have to complete while we're at this insane tree house. You guys have got to try this bacon cheddar scallion bread. I mean, come on. Mm. At what Airbnb do you get these kind of snacks? You don't. That's what makes it so great. This cookie the company, cookies? they oh, left no. all this. For us. This looks so cool, it's an adventure cake. We found a fridge of beverages. It comes with lattes. Are you guys ready to see the views from this tree house? Holy smoke. Whoa. Just take it in. This, this is, nuts. is insane. Imagine if every day this was your view at night. Wouldn't leave. Oh. Good night. We have a top of the line espresso machine. Cheers. Since we have this epic deck out here, we're gonna see how far we can throw a paper airplane. Hopefully 300 feet. Who's gonna go get it? Pull those back. The stealth bomber. Great. You're gonna pay the consequences. Okay, ready? Yep. Set. <laughs> <laughs> Who made it? Bro. New design. I double folded it so it's thicker. This is going straight down. Straight down? This one feels better. what I say, fellas? One more piece of paper. We're back with a brand new paper airplane design. Ready? That had good flight for a while. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. It actually looks pretty steep. Can you get the other one? Why? We're in a predicament. There's three of us and two bedrooms. So one person has to sleep on the couch. First one out, gets couch. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. Oh! <laughs> Winner gets that bedroom. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. shoot. Yeah! Andrew gets the king master suite. It feels good to be master of the house. No matter where you sleep, you still get views of the entire region. I don't think any of us lost, really. No. Everywhere you sit, you got views on views on views. If you sit here and you're laying down, why would you need a TV? We've been mm -hmm. taking so many pictures, guys. Can't wait to post Instagram. Yeah, you guys should follow us all on Instagram. Fun fact, guys, like probably the rest of you, I have never used a bidet in my life. I just walk in front of the toilet, it turns on and lets out a mist. Guys, this isn't weird. I'm giving my honest reactions. The toilet seat itself is like hot. So the toilet obviously has toilet paper next to it, but it also comes with this remote. Not sure which button to push, but take a look. There's a dryer on this thing. <laughs> Let's just try a button. Oh, oh gosh, stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is everything okay in there? I don't know, man. When does it stop? The freaking dryer just turned off. So weird. No, that's not, that's not the power button for the thing. That's the remote. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> You don't turn off the controller. I don't know, there's that no is, buttons anywhere there. Where's the turn off button? Where? <laughs> it almost cut me. <laughs> it's trying to take off. Jeez. Where is the power off button? It's yet to land it. The power off, the power off is on this. Button. No, where's the land button? It's this button. I pushed that button. Well, I too have never used a bidet, so I'm gonna try out this. Pardon? <laughs> the heated seat is a very nice touch. I think I'm ready for a rinse out, whatever that means. What's happening? Ah! What the? <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. No, no. Okay, it has to stop, right? Where's the off button? I'm being serious. Guys, it's been about five minutes and I can't get this thing to stop. Ah, what's going on? 
<laughs> oh, this is worse. I just turned up like the intensity. Where's like the stop button? Well, I finally just stood up and it turned off. How'd you get it to stop? I pushed the same button. I was just in there for like at least 10 minutes just being sprayed down. <laughs> Our very special event is happening right now. What is going on in here? It's time to cook some amazing food for you guys. Yeah! yeah. Our very own treehouse chef. Five star chef. We got outfits just for this occasion. Instagram's gonna have a new top model soon. Check out our Instagram if you wanna see crazy epic pics. It's not every day you get to eat a five star meal from a five-star chef in a five-star treehouse. <laughs> I'm super pumped about this. Some beautiful Italian caviar. Ooh, Cheers, guys. guys. I don't think I've ever had caviar before. Kind of tastes like the ocean. Kind of sweet and salty and wonderful. I'm excited to try this. I'm not gonna lie, I normally do not eat raw fish, but genuinely, not bad. Awesome. Not something you eat every day, do you? Mm -mm. Sweet breads. A thalamus gland of a cow. What is a thalamus gland? <laughs> Ah, yeah. never had that before either. Ear glands. Oh yeah. There's so many different flavors. It's like a whirlwind of emotion. The sauce is really good. Oh yeah. I've been working on this pork belly recipe for years and years. That is fantastic. Good night. <laughs> Richard, you've truly outdone yourself. Keep it up. <laughs> We are highly anticipating the main course here. Steak, mashed potatoes, and a really, really flavorful sauce. Stop. No, no don't. You don't want to stop with this fish. This is insane. This dessert is one of my favorites. Tish kebab. Super tasty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had this for everyday dessert. It's time to check that off of our list. John never called me, which was sad because we were looking forward to him joining us, but maybe in another life, I guess. You're crazy, man. You're crazy, man. It's time to change and head down to the relaxation station. You guys haven't seen that part of this treehouse yet, and let me tell you, it is next level. Oh, wow. Welcome to the relaxation deck. Uh, check it out. We have a massive sauna. Massive? Which... Ow! Oh, wow! <laughs> We're gonna get this warmed up, jump in there, then straight to the hot tub and fire pit. Well, start the fire pit now, just so we have vibes constantly. Yep. It's time for treehouse fire pit. Ready? Oh, oh, oh bro, the vibe. Oh, I love the vibes. You promise this would make some steam? Look at the window. Woo! Good night, Nelson. Oh, the camera is steaming up. Time to go hot tubbing in a treehouse. Has this ever been done before? This hot tub is the best treehouse hot tub I've ever been in. Oh, oh my. my. Ow. He just stubbed his toe it. Um, that was the air in my swim shorts. Activate bubbles. Activate bubbles. We need full power. Oh, yes. Yes. We got a waterfall right here. This is a lie. Whoa. Orange. What? <laughs> this is awesome. I guess we could check this off the list. Doing a hot tub in a treehouse. We've got the spotting scope out. As you can see, we're searching for Bigfoot because, yeah. So we've been spying out here, but it's getting kind of dark. And you're blinding the light in my face. Oh, I heard Bigfoot is active in the mornings. Really? There's no way you're gonna be able to see anything out here. We had no luck finding Sasquatch, but that's not gonna be the end of our hunt. Blake believes Sasquatch is real, and he wants to prove that to us. So if this gets 100,000 likes, we will bring Blake and hire a professional Sasquatch hunter, Jim Myers, and vlog our mission to finding Sasquatch. Time to FaceTime a YouTuber to get a challenge. It's 11.15, so let's see if they're up. Hey! No way, it's beam. Uh, okay, so my challenge for you, I see a light above your head. I want you to unscrew the light bulb without using a ladder because the ceiling looks really tall. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> we'll give it a try and see what happens. Good luck. <laughs> How the heck are we going to unscrew a light bulb up there? Without a ladder. Uh, there's no way. You could, I weigh about a buck 65, man. It doesn't really matter if I'm standing on chairs on the floor. It doesn't make you any less heavy. Stand onto shoulders and use the wall as balance. I'm nervous, dude. If I fall, you're fine. Dude. Perfect. Oh gosh, I'm so scared. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Are you close? Oh, this light bulb doesn't even unscrew. Wait, you can touch it? Yes. Yes. That counts. Oh, that no. counts. Give me down. Left foot down. Left. Put your left foot down. <laughs> oh. Hey, 
We made it to the light bulb, but beam, these light bulbs don't rotate. All right, check that one off the list, Drew. How can we never say Matt? Say my name. Who do we say? Editor, check that off the list. Um, Jerickson Lamar didn't show up for work. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys wanted me to give him a write-up or what I should do about that. Lamar? Who's that? He's the new guy we just hired. He usually <laughs> does like the, the midnight shifts and he didn't show up, so I had to fill the position. Oh, okay. What should I do? Call corporate or? Yeah, I give you uh, my manual number. You gotta talk so hard and then he's left. I don't know too. <laughs> okay. Thank you, boss. All right, thank you, boss. We're gonna get to the bottom of this Lamar situation. No one understands the reference at all. Prank call, check it off the list. Every kid's dream is to play hide and seek in a massive, expensive tree house. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna count to 60. We're going outside. You can't go outside because we're in a tree house. One, two, three, eight. 59, 60. Ready or not, I heard a sound. What's that sound over there? Yeah, these guys are not good at hide and seek. <laughs> Huh. Wow, Johnny. What is that? I can't even breathe. You're sprinting so hard. You sprinted from the kitchen to here and you can't breathe? I'm sprinting all over the place. There's nowhere to hide in this tree house. And now I'm gonna find Caleb. Good night. The toilet just scared the crap out of me. Caleb's gotta be in this closet. What the heck? You probably locked him in here, didn't you? What's no. the code? I have no idea what the code is. Oh. Oh. How'd you just find out what the code is? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this place isn't that big. What the heck? Is there like a secret spot in the house that I don't know about? Apparently. Come on. <laughs> I can't be that hard. <laughs> Are you outside? You turn! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you were helping him get up there. That's why you're out of breath. <laughs> well, you won. Maybe here's the problem. You can't get down. <laughs> no, can't. He's got to sleep up there. <laughs> no. You get down if you use this as a ledge to stand up. I can jump to bed. Holy yeah, crap, you're right. I Bonk your head on the, the ceiling. Whole head'll clap. <laughs> Keep in mind, Caleb is nervous about heights. Yeah, and I'm short. Oh, it's his nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I need your shoulders. <laughs> what? My head! I need your left shoulder. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Squat. Oh. <laughs> what do I do? Drop. Help! Drop. Help! Help! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. I got scared. That was hide and seek. Check it off the list. I still haven't used the bidet. I'm gonna test it out, see if it works. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> this is really the most uncomfortable experience I've ever had, especially being on camera. When does it stop? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> not stopping. There's a dryer? This is so weird. I can't film this anymore. I'm gonna test out this bed and then it's straight back to Sasquatch searching. Stay tuned. It's time to test the beds for eight hours. I'll let you guys know what I think. Ha! Good night from the treehouse. Good morning, literally. We got the scope set up, seeing if we can spot Sasquatch. We're gonna find something. We got a contraption for this thing that is gonna make this next level. If he's out there, we'll get him on video. Enhance. <gasps> what is that? Do you see something? There's something in the field. We need Jim. I literally know nothing about Sasquatch, so is he most seen during the day, night? Where do we look? What? He's probably out more at night. It's way too late in the morning. I don't think we're gonna see him. Oh, oh nice. darn it, Jackson. Another one of our challenges, build a gaming blanket fort. <laughs> it took us five minutes, pal. Whoa. It is now a gaming fort. Are we gonna open it or? No. Oh. Wow.
feel like I'm living out my childhood dream at the ripe age of 27. We're gonna leave the treehouse a very nice note. Dear Babwa. If you want to read it, you got to come here and stay. It's time to explore under the treehouse. What? This is a cool place you can make a fort if you wanted. You could see below where your feet are. Whoa, we're high up now. We found one of the coolest secret spots in the treehouse. I give this place a five star rating. I'll have what he's happy. This was definitely one of the best overnights we've ever done. We built eight micro tree houses and we're gonna be spending overnight in them, but it's not just Andrew and I, we brought some friends along. <laughs> we're gonna randomly hand out cards with your tree house number on it and it also has your budget to survive overnight. Some tree houses are better than others. One tree house in particular is terrible. Your budget matches the quality of the tree oh. house. Number three, 300. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I built this. <laughs> Bucks. Oh, I got five. Oh, yeah. $75, I'm number seven. Oh my God! <laughs> 250 bucks, I'm number four. I got number six with 100 bucks. See what we have to work with and then head to the store because we're gonna be decorating them with our budget. I got a whole platform to myself. Mine's pretty sweet. Only downside is there's some giant cracks in the floor for some reason. This is gonna be no problem. This is sweet. I get the high me and Blake are basically neighbors at the end of the village. I can work with this, I and mean, I like that there's enough standing room. I wish the budget was a little higher. Mine's oh. at least double the size of yours. Mine's like zip tied to the other tree. <laughs> but every tree house comes stocked equipped with an outlet. If you want to buy lights or any other electronics, you can plug right in. I'm number four. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this one. It's perfectly middle ground. I got a medium budget. So I'm number five. I'm number seven. I have to go through his in order to get to mine. This is my tree house. Oh, yeah. I can stand up fully in mine. I can even jump. Oh, good for you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's go to the store to get our supplies. Oh! Oh! Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, we're at the store, let's go shopping. I don't really know what to get for food. I could get a sandwich here, but the sandwich is here. I'm gonna get a bunch of soups. I'm just gonna grab whatever I can grab, and that's what I'm gonna eat. Hybrid memory foam mattress. Well, it's gonna use up a good chunk of my budget, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Rick, I need help. Oh, you got it. <laughs> the cob of corns are only 50 cents. If you buy me one, I'll eat it raw, but then you have to buy me something to sleep on. Wait, what? <laughs> if I wanna buy you corn, I have to buy you something to sleep on. <laughs> you can get one thing to eat that I'll pay for. This time, I'm gonna really prioritize comfort. I got this really nice, coordinated bedding set. I'm gonna get a nice mattress. I wanna really have a good night tonight. What am I getting you? Probably the hoagie. Okay. The big baller fellows are here at Shields, am I right? So my budget's actually on the low end, but yeah, you have less than I do. I need to get some sleeping gear, comfort. I have a lot of things to get. I got this little baby Ewok outfit. That was already hundred bucks. My main strat is to getting good with Drew. This little rocker is only 60 bucks. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and get one. That's a pretty good steal. That's such a good idea. You're dang, so dang smart. Have I ever told you that? This was definitely not Jack. Idea. I, this is mine. Guys, this is gonna be incredible. Dude, I've, I've used that before and it hurts. Hurts? If you use it the way I wanna use it, it hurts. I was excited to do this overnight until I got my budget. I need bedding. I feel like entertainment, bedding, is gonna get kinda cold tonight. It's one third of my budget just for this hat. I look like I belong on the Titanic or something. None of these tree houses have lights. If I can get my lighting system set up, that's gonna be a big advantage for me. So I found these really cheap sleeping bags. I got Daisy Duck, Princess Sophia, and some doll blanket. It's only five bucks. That's not bad, dude. So I'm gonna go with this. Hopefully there's not like puke and poop all over it or something. <laughs> this is gonna be epic. Trains for days. <laughs> I got the Rebecca Bon Bon blanket. You guys like my picnic basket? You got all this money to buy all this useless crap? You bought frames? You gotta live, and to live, you need art. You gotta live. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want to buy that. Well, how much is it? <laughs> we're back from the store from shopping. It's time to decorate our different tree houses. Throughout the overnight, we're going to have different challenges that we can potentially win upgrades to our tree houses or get punished for different things. <laughs> I can ride down one. this, dude. No, you can't. I know I could. Oh, yeah, your your kickflip. Nice. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> Yeah! First try! First try! <laughs> Can you run up though, Samuel? No way. Nope, more speed. Oh! He made me bleed. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's okay. I forgive you, Matt. <laughs> okay. For real, or? <laughs> <laughs> I got the mini fridge up here. It was 
probably the hardest thing that I'm gonna have to get up here, so I'm glad that that is done and out of the way. Now, I got a bag of chips I'd be willing to trade you for that mini fridge. I don't know about that. This is gonna be an insane treehouse. My final load of stuff is coming up, and then I can start decorating. <sighs> Blake is about to set up his bed. Guess someone's gonna throw us away. Oh, that would have been a mistake. Blake is going around trying to acquire bed pieces to upgrade his tree right house. Now I'm sleeping on the, on the wood. I think I'm gonna set up the bed right here. That way you can walk in, take off your shoes. I don't know why you would do that, but <laughs> Blake and I we have this like almost shared porch, but we don't have any chairs. Uh, I do have my, my bed. <laughs> That's pretty scary. All right, I got all my stuff inside now. I got these little like citronella bands to keep the bugs away. I put one on my left, one on my right, and as I turn the, and as I turn. Samuel! What? I'm trying to record. What? There's a mosquito already biting me, so I don't know if these things work. I can put my snacks in here and all my stuff and my toys, but like I put all of my snacks right there and like all of my stuff can hang and I don't have a pillow because I bought this. I really need pillows to sleep. Jackson, you have a rocking chair? I do, I'm living the high life. Jackson's living the high life. No, he's not, he's still got his shirt on. I, I... Do. Means you're not living the high life, baby. I've been like back and forth over here to where all these supplies are so many times. Someone has just left their pillow. So I'm gonna see if I can sneak this into my treehouse without anyone noticing and hope no one needs it or claims it. I've been decorating my treehouse and it is turning out to be such a vibe. I got a cot here, a bunch of cozy blankets, and then just bags of good snacks and activities. I can't wait for tonight. I feel like I'm finally going to get a very good night's sleep on an overnight challenge, unless there's some crazy shenanigans going on tonight. It's time for the first challenge. First person to catch the chicken wins this lovely snack bag. Wait, wait, we have to catch, the, catch chicken? the chicken? Catch it. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, hey, oh, oh. Where is it? Oh, where'd it go? What the heck? Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. It's over here. Jackson got it. <laughs> Jackson is the winner. Here is your snack bag. Yes! Great work, chicken man. Oh, there's nothing in it. Sorry. Wow. No. Yeah, oh, not oh, anything no. good. It is time for tours, starting with Blake. I only had 25 bucks, so I had to go for comfort over entertainment. What are these covers, dude? It was the cheapest covers I could find. They're only five bucks. And I got a cardboard bed that I kind of salvaged from all of your guys' trash. <laughs> This doll. Sam bought this for me. I got some water. Dude, for some reason, you have like the nicest grease. The low budget part hurts, but the treehouse isn't that bad. I have a little little fan. I got some circus time popcorn. A banana, it was only 17 cents. And a pie that was 75 cents. And this drink was only like 64 cents. New nickname is gonna be Budget Blake. <laughs> That's right. Can't lie. I probably wouldn't have done any better since I live right next door to Blake. Why don't you guys come on and tour my treehouse? I had $100. Some of the main features of my treehouse are the above head lights. I spent a lot of money on my bed. Comfort, blankets, sheets, nice pillow. Very relaxing. My plan is to put this garage sale sign on someone else's treehouse. When they're not looking, I'm gonna go in and put all these for sale stickers on all their items and hopefully other people come in and start taking their stuff. Ooh, I like that. Just so, not mine. Okay, I won't do yours. <laughs> Over here I have the area where you can take up your shoes. And then we have the kitchen, a banana, a chips and dip, and then I have a Lunchable for dinner. Other than that, I spent a lot of time designing my walls, which I got with this $2 set of chalk painted all the walls. You are the furthest away from everybody. There shouldn't be any shenanigans happening to you at least tonight. I would not want to live anywhere near Jackson. I know that. Jackson is up to no good. Ah! <laughs> it's time for our next challenge. As you can see, they've got their lovely headgear on. Goal of this game is to simply rip the hat off of everybody else. Last one standing wins the prize. The prize is our lovely cot set up over here. It's got a five inch massive. Guys, doesn't Drew look like a zombie from a zombie video game? Yeah, so. Since Isaac won, he unlocks the luxury bedding. Isaac, yes. good work. Since Blake has nothing to sleep on except the wood, would you want this cot, Blake? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec, Samus. Oh, Blake! Oh, Blake! <laughs> Why did we just fold it up first? <laughs> Guys, we're playing UFC, and apparently Blake has clocked in over 10,000 hours. 10,000 fights. Why is my guy. Blake's on the so race. slow. I don't even know the dang control! Oh! He just got knocked out. Oh! 
<laughs> like case. I'm rocking your world. Okay, <laughs> oh! KO! Next up on the tour, we got Isaac. I had $250. I do have my own tree to myself. I got some privacy, but I also have this window right here so I can see Matt and Samuel. And then this window right here, I got the community deck right there. I can see Justin's little window. I can see him while he's sleeping, actually. I'm also in a clear line of sight from Jackson's window, which is more scary. Yeah, Jackson's right there. I got lights up here, so at nighttime, it should be plenty bright. You had $200? What did you buy? There's nothing in here. I bought everything I needed. This looks like my house, and I had half your budget. I got good stuff, dude. I don't see one good thing. I bought a perfectly sized bed. It's a queen, and so it fits right here, and it'll cover up the hatch. Ah, I gotta say, this is probably one of my least favorite tree houses. This was a whole $50, so here's where my money's going, right? I got a nice bedding. This mattress was uh, 50 bucks. I got a bunch of food. Burgers I'm gonna cook later. I also got this skateboard, as you saw earlier. And I got blue ball and my grill. Yeah, I like the placement of the tree house, which you have nothing to do with. I like the size of it, which you had nothing to do with. Those are the two things I like. Dang. <laughs> Intruders. Hi. Jackson's gonna come up here and dump a jar of pickles into Isaac's chair. He will not. I'll be so angry. We've been making reference to Jackson this entire episode because he is the one person on the team that likes to cause mischief the most out of everybody. If you remember the last hotel we did with Jackson, he broke my TV, but then I lit him up at, in the middle of the night with gel blasters. So I feel like I'm probably target numero uno. I think he's targeting Blake. Obviously he's targeting Blake. He literally said it earlier. If Jackson's trying to throw pickles at Blake, we're not gonna <laughs> let it happen. Heck yeah, dude. I'll throw my body in the line for Blake. I got this board at Walmart. Tony Hawk. Only 20 bucks, right? Yeah, $20. I technically landed it. Wow, you get one trick out of that board. Yeah. Thanks, Tony Hawk. This is like JC levels of construction. What? Oh no. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 Keeps things cozy. I got these wonderful art pieces. These guys from Walmart for a dollar. Whoa! And 360 yeah. degree view light system. I have one that I can even install on my head. And then that way I can walk around at night. Groceries, dinner, breakfast, milk I have to drink before the end of the day, applesauce, and all kinds of oh. chips. So my blanket is currently stored right here. This was one of my arc finds, was this nice picnic basket, but I stole somebody's pillow. Oh. Cause it was just sitting over on the grass. I know exactly whose that is. I Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always wanted one of these wooden train sets. I found one for eight bucks. So these are my pine cone launchers that I can just like smash them right out the window. No one's gonna be able to sneak into my house without going through Matt's house. Being <laughs> safe is gonna be significantly easier because they're probably gonna attack Matt first. And even if they don't attack Matt, the chance of Matt waking up while they're trying to sneak into my house, significantly high. You, in that uh, case, you have the best location. Yeah. I'm lucky number seven, and this is my room. So Samuel also goes up here. I'm not really gonna be able to do much with this side of the room. I got crackers and salami and cheese. Got a gallon of water, a banana, peanut butter. Check out my epic game. Spoons. Ooh. Yeah, I got cards so I can play with a bunch of people. A small fan, that'll hopefully keep me cool. Uh, Samuel. Yeah, I gotta be... <laughs> you gotta be careful. I hit my head here a bunch of times too. I don't like your house. <laughs> I got these lights that change like colors. I got a pillow for my head and one for my legs. So, there I, you go. so I can at least sleep comfy. There's not much, but it's kind of all you need, I think. And it's time for the next challenge, a classic game of tug of war. First team to pull the enemy team over the line is the winners and gets the reward. Ready? Ready, fellas? Ready. And begin! Oh! Oh, my Oh, we had it. What happened? Let's go! go. Let's go! Yeah, it's all Isaac's fault. I'll, I'll go second to last. Did you guys won? You get a private chef dinner. Yeah. What? <laughs> chef is Carice. Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, Blake, how do you feel? Pretty hungry, so I'm excited for this meal. All right, so what we've got for you guys tonight is a delicious fajita spread. Ooh. We've got some 
lime cilantro marinated steak and chicken. Now this has sat and marinated for about like five hours before we cooked it. We wonderful. also have some sauteed fajita veggies, refried beans, mm. fire roasted homemade salsa, oh. and homemade Spanish rice, and homemade guacamole. Yes. Holy guacamole! You guys are gonna get diarrhea. Fantastic reward, fellas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All I had was a Lunchable for tonight. Oh. What do you have for food? A hoagie that Matt bought me. Oh yeah, Matt. You you can have my hoagie if you want it. I'm gonna edit a certain part so it looks like you fall through the floor onto a spike. <laughs> yeah! Blake, are you okay? Next up on the tours is Jackson. Jackson, what do we got here? I have oh. curtains on every oh. window. I've got all my pickles. <laughs> so that's the most important thing. I knew he was up to no good. I have the perfect viewing angle of the hangout spot. So I have this nice little rocking chair that I get to hang out in. Your chair is directed directly at Isaac's treehouse. Yeah. I definitely need a curtain on that window. <laughs> I gotta block that window, dude. Well, I've got different games. I have lawn darts right here, which I'm gonna set up in Matt's room and then just start throwing darts in there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my lava lamp, which is also a speaker, so those are gonna be good hangs. Oh. I have a pie, that's for Blake. He, he bought him a tiny pie, but I want to get him a bigger pie. <laughs> that is such a nice opportunity for Blake. <laughs> I like how you have a 360 view of everything. This is definitely the evil villain lair. Jackson's the villain again! <laughs> I haven't done anything to you, and I will not do anything to you unless you do something. I also second that. So yeah. You shot me in the foot. Do you remember when I, mean, and I, I had welts on my feet? He said, on the bottom of my he feet. He never forgets. I did. Jackson. I mentioned that earlier that I was already afraid. Well, thanks for the tour, Jackson. Yeah. You did great. Thank you. Justin is going to give us a tour of his treehouse. I had $500. Still big baller territory. Coming inside, I got a lot to show you. We got the uh, kitchen table. So I got a, a nice homemade meal I'm going Ooh. to be cooking up later with chicken, a little curry, red Thai curry, two types of drinks, chips, sweets, and a coffee maker for the morning. A nice hammock chair for like what? toddlers it, i got the kids one because i didn't know how big the adults one was i got a portable air conditioner we got lots of colors in here and it's only going to get more colorful as the night goes on how you'll see i, I think have... we already know no you don't Plastic justin justice. can't go to the store without buying this item <laughs> i got some glow sticks yo dude this is so cool also got some military grade glow sticks you have a weird obsession with glow sticks no i don't i think every overnight <laughs> video features glow sticks purchased by this guy. You may or may not be surprised. <laughs> They're not surprised. <laughs> so we have this ah, for my bed. And I got a Whoa. cooling pillow. Infinity Whoa. light Whoa. mirror. Got a little drawing here I made. Yeah. Oh, that's, look at that. Last but not least, a game. This is actually for golf, but I made up my own game with these fishing poles, what? which we'll play later. There's some holes in your floor, but yeah. it's all about the vibes, not the holes. It doesn't bother you. The next challenge is chicken egg toss. Carice is going to be in the middle, blindfolded, throwing eggs. We have rubber chickens and squeakers attached to our feet. Last man standing wins. Oh, I literally caught the egg with my thighs. Oh, that's epic. <laughs> that's no out. Hey, Carice is out. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Who you got? Who you got? I'm going Jackson. Oh, <laughs> Jackson, since you won, you get $200 yes. in the last chicken standing. Yes! The moment you guys have been waiting for, the big budget tree house. Drew! Number one! Woo! The Ewok tree top. Oh! Come on inside! I got all kinds of lighting. This is my epic fan. It gives a really nice cross breeze. I got my coffee station, a coffee mug that actually stays heated. That's what I want to see in the big ball of tree hut. Tree hut! Tree Everyone's hut. climbing tree hut, tree hut, tree hut. hut. Chants are weird when it's just three people. Obi Kwan's lightsaber. Whoa, not the camera. Whoa. I got this epic rocking chair, epic indoor speed chase Lego set, and then I got my little Ewok outfit. They didn't make any big enough. <laughs> 
big enough for me, so. I'm glad you leaned into the Star Wars Ewok theme because I, that's exactly basically what we built here is an Ewok village. A little Grogu, a little Obi-Wan, Mandalorian. Ooh, yeah. Bedding on my nice comfy bed with silk mattress. <laughs> PS5, we got Star Wars, UFC, Spider-Man. Then I got all my snacks and my cookware. This is the super secret game that I bought. Axe Throw Wild Sports. Extravaganza! I'm here to get my UFC fix. Oh. <laughs> Blake is addicted, guys. I'm addicted to games. <laughs> Action. Look at this. A satisfying game. Time for our next challenge. We have the death chocolate box. So this isn't a reward challenge. No, all of these chocolates are normal except for one is very, very, very spicy hot. It says nine million Scoville chili extract. Oh no. That would be me. What if none of us get it? Down the hatch. I got it. Oh god. Really? No, no, no way. No. It's yeah. No, it's Mine hot. is hot too. Dude, mine's hot mine's too. Hot. It's so hot. What the heck? Oh, any milk? Any milk? Dude, mine was so good. Oh, this is super tasty. <laughs> you guys said there was only one hot one. Oh god, that's what it said. This is so freaking hot, man. For once, I'm not eating the spicy thing. Oh my lord. Are you shaking? Holy moly. This is so hot, man. Mm. Is it that bad? That's crazy. Oh, it's, it's like a pain. It's like electricity. Yeah. Wait. That's one of the hottest things I've ever had in my house. Yeah. It's been about 30 minutes since the chocolates, and my mouth is finally to tolerable status. I'm not doing good. Uh, mine's doing a lot better. We looked it up, and apparently no. the one chip is only one to two million Scoville units. These are how many? Nine? Nine? Nine, nine? nine million. That's insane. Dang it. What? Come on, trick shot. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 holy. Oh! 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 Hey. Oh! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Wait, how's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For our next challenge, we have frozen t-shirts. There is a punishment for the four people who do not put their t-shirt on. Yeah, four people? Four, four. four people. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Whoa! So sweaty, I could probably... Jackson already had his open stuff. Jackson, it wasn't that Will. open. <laughs> you got black, that's why. Oh, there's no chance, dude. What? No, 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 there's already three people! Ah! What? Oh. Oh. No, I got it! Come on. Ow, this hurts! Oh my god, oh my god. god. this is right! Okay, feel this thing, dude. It's a brick. You can't open that. We are the four losers, and the, for our punishment, we had a custom cake made, and Whoa. we have to take a big bite out of this delicious cake, I apparently. I love cake. Dude. All right, uh, shout out to my friend Andrea for doing the top of it. Oh! That looks pretty good. That, that looks sick. Cool. We don't know all the ingredients. It doesn't look bad. I already feel like throwing up. I really miss you, you were <laughs> 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 Do I have to... What? <laughs> Do I have to swallow oh, it? There's fish in there, oh. there's wasabi in there, and it's it, 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 tuna and frosting. <laughs> oh, I do think it is. That was kind of good, dude. Frosting. Oh! Oh, oh Samuel! 
Ooh, Keep that. it down, Samuel! Ah, ah, oh. I got it. Yeah. Oh, man. That is nasty. Extra hot horseradish sauce. Frosting mixed in with the anchovies. And we added a bunch of chili flakes. I can definitely get the chili. Yeah. Stop <laughs> enjoying this. <laughs> So for my activity, guys, I invented a new game. Every fishing rod comes with these little fake rubber fish. I bought that little target over there, and basically it's precision casting. Oh. Oh. Oh, the, the, the rocket style. Oh! Yeah! Oh, yes! Oh! The bounce. Off the bounce. Ribeye. Steaks. This is gonna be so good. Do I get to try any? Someone by the house, just have them grab like a fire extinguisher. What? It starts burning, I'll push it off the edge. <clears throat> Great. And burn down the, the forest. The no, then we'll, then we'll jump down on top of it and put it out. Are you mad? Since obviously we didn't win the, I mean, the private chef meal. Right. Since obviously we didn't win the private chef meal, yep. me and Drew are having a little midnight snack. This is about the time I usually eat dinner anyway. About to cook some big blizzies. What are you? Uh, an idiot sandwich. An idiot sandwich what? Uh, an idiot sandwich chef. <laughs> so these guys are still up cooking. Oh. Hey Sam, you're going to bed already? It's like past midnight. We got four burgers, two oh, steaks, Caesar salad, mushrooms and veggies. Anyway, so I'm... <laughs> thinking about going to bed, it is time. And I don't know how these guys are still up. Like, it's crazy. Holy truffle. Oh! <laughs> oh my, it's good. That is great. Oh my eyes. <laughs> these look good, dude, look at these. You can't even see them, you idiot. <laughs> Very good. That is the best steak I've had in Whoa. probably a year and a half. <laughs> get out of here, yeah, dude. Get out of here, dog. That cake was better, dude. That's good. What's better? The steak. That one's off the charcoal, so you're first person to taste this. The steak is so much better than this. Home sweet treehouse. I am looking forward to sleeping here in my cot tonight, and I'm very surprised no shenanigans have happened tonight involving Jackson and Pickles. We'll see. Time to go to bed. I'm gonna be up for a few more hours, finish my indoor Lego set. <laughs> Watchful eye on Jackson. I don't know why I do. Never say that. I'm a little bummed I didn't get to do my garage sale prank, but that's fine. I'm also worried about all the daddy long leg spiders there are. There's, I've seen so many in, the, in these tree houses. Who goes there? Me. Well, wait, if Isaac stuck his head out the window, I could see him. You see me? Oh, I can see Blake too. Oh, Holy oh, cow. <laughs> Everyone's going down to bed. Isaac played a prank on us. Tonight, I get my revenge. Oh, Jackson, you suck. That stinks, dude, so bad. That's pretty funny. Dude. That's what happens when you ambush me with gel blasters. Now we're gonna blast Blake. We've reconciled, and now we're teaming up on Blake for no reason. <laughs> Your room sucks. You got some popcorn? No. They smell like pickles. I know. <laughs> Jackson got me. I'm just gonna, just hug my dude, hug me. Just hold me for security. Just hold me, dude. I need your help. Here, he's coming, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that? Bye. <laughs> is that funny to you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is finally done. That is pretty cool. Been working on this thing for a long time. It is definitely time for bed. Good morning. I slept pretty well last night for the four hours that I did sleep. Well, it is morning. <laughs> 7.15. 7. Oh, come on. Rise and shine. That coffee. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. Uh, no tea. I don't have hot dogs. Man, Samuel's a tough customer. <laughs> I got the water on and the kettle on and that, look at that. That's pretty cool. Luxury. Oh yeah, that smells good. Egg yes. and sausage. Well, we made it overnight in the treehouse village. Today we are doing tiny versus giant tree houses. We are gonna be spending overnight in our tree houses. Once you get in, you cannot get out. The challenge begins. Man, this is so small. Oh, there's so much room. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Really not much room. I just have no way to cover up this hole. I could potentially fall through the hole. Let's go inside and take a look. 
This is an epic tree house. I think it even has power. Whoa! One really cool thing about this overnight is as the day goes and as we go into the nighttime, we are gonna be unlocking more and more stuff for our tree houses. How we unlock them is we pop these balloons on these walls and whatever falls out of the balloon, that's the item that we unlock. How's the tree house? It's really big. How's your tree house? Really small. It is time for our first balloon wall pop. Let's see what our first item is for the overnight. Ready? Ready, Ready. like, subscribe, merch. So we're using these throwing cards which have edges on them. Whoa, what'd I get? Friends! Friends! Yeah! Every 30 minutes, you're gonna get the opportunity to pop a balloon, but if you miss, you don't get anything. Oh my! It's right next to the balloon! <laughs> Not good! They look like they're having so much fun over there. Yeah. Yeah. Go in your treehouse, guys. I'm. Oh, guess I'll wait another 30 minutes. Welcome to the treehouse, fellas. There's nothing in here, though. The friends had to be the first balloon you hit. You couldn't hit snacks first. Like, oh, please get food next. I want food now. I will try my hardest. We gotta wait 30 minutes before the next 30 balloon. 30 minutes. Are we done yet? It's a hymn of worship. Oh, oh hell, the power. The 30-minute markup. Finally, go. Please. <laughs> ah! Snacks, snacks, snacks. All right, here it comes. Ready? Come on, bud. Yeah! <laughs> Prank call. Oh, who are we pranking, Colin? Who do you think? GameStop. GameStop. <laughs> Thank you for calling GameStop. Where you get more when you trade? This is Michael. How may I help you? So my son had a question about video games. Do you have, I know the Pokemon's coming out. Which ones do you have already, like ready to go? The uh, newest <laughs> one, like the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, those don't come out until November. You're kidding. No, but that's not what- Johnny, stop hogging the phone, give it to your brother. That's I, not what he said. We wanted the new Arceus, I think it's how you say it, Pokemon Arceus. Arceus. Yeah, yeah, tell me, ask him if they have that Arceus, Arceus. Do you have the Arceus? You let your brother die! Ow! Boy! Ah! Yeah, uh, that, that game doesn't even come out until January. What? Thank you for the information. Oh, please. I'm no, no, hang up. I'm not, I'm not investing in your Pokemon demons anymore. Oh, no, they're not demons. demons. They're my friends. You Lord. suck that. I can't move forward with this transaction. I'm sorry. You have a good one. You do, sir. <laughs> Bird. Wow. Oh, B. Balloon time, buddy. Finally. I'm going to do everything in my power to hit a balloon. Pikachu, I choose you. Food, we want food. No. Check this out, guys. Video game! Yes! Finally, I can have some fun in this dump. Since I'm in the tiny tree house, I get to play video games on my phone, which isn't that bad, because today's video is sponsored by I am extremely hungry, and one of these balloons has DoorDash. Please. Yes! What was that? Arcade. Yes! More entertainment! I'm bored as all get out! Give me the arcade! Food, 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 Whoa! It is... Video games! Alright, video games! Sure, I'm still hungry. But now we can play! Yeah! Yes! Guys, we got the PS5 for video games! Woo! Wait, you don't have a TV. Ow! What? We don't have a TV. That's right. The I think TV's one of the balloons. So, what's the point of a PlayStation without a TV? Ow! What are you playing? Uh, can't remember. Wait, uh, NBA 2K21, I think? This is, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> Destroy him! Ow! My video games. No! Guys, I dropped my video game out of my tree house. More balloons. All right, what do you want more? TV or food? Food. Food, food. and drink. Okay. Yes! yes! Now who's gonna go down and get it? Woo! Cause I'm not. Well, I can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me nervous over here. <laughs> Be hungry. What do we got? We got water balloon attack. What does that even mean? Water balloon attack? We get to launch. Look at this. Bungee launcher at Justin's dweeb hut. Hut, hut, hut. <laughs> Please don't get me. I'm not going to get you. Oh. <laughs> you kidding? Come on, you. Whoa. A blanket. I'm not cold right now. I'm hot. 
Is that a dog blanket? Well, bye. A cozy blanket with a pug on it, and it barely covers my legs. You know what? I'm going to stop complaining because I at least have a blanket, and I'm in a tree house. It could be worse. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm not going to. Right? Yeah, sit. <laughs> we were 50% of the way there. So One more try. Mm. Oh, that was perfect distance, just a little right. Forget the launcher, just throw them. Are you hungry? Yes. Oh, good. Ah! <laughs> oh my. Oh, you're getting my pants wet, boy. Oh my. <laughs> you couldn't hit me if you tried, boy. He's right. Oh! <laughs> Let's go headshot! Boom! Headshot! Shot. Ready? Yeah, yeah. That's fire! Oh. <laughs> it didn't break! Oh no! Oh, he didn't break! <laughs> no! Ah. Oh! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking a nap. If we don't get food until tonight, I'm gonna be real upset. Yes! Woo! 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 What? Legos aren't friends. I want real friends. What are we getting for DoorDash? Chick-fil-A, my guy. Check it out, guys. The whole squad's here. Yay, we're having an epic time. I got four friends. What's that, Larry? I have no idea where it is. I'm done talking to you guys. Just hanging out. Me and some inanimate objects. It's great. I do not want to move. I wasn't filming, but part of my treehouse fell off. The whole thing's hanging down there, and that's not supposed to be like that. This cord completely snapped. How did that happen? I still have eight balloons left. Yes! Food! Yes! I am starving! Give me the food! Hope you're in the mood for hot dog, hamburger, fries, pizza, and fried eggs. Yeah. All right. Tiny, oh, tiny treehouse gets tiny food. What? I want real food, not candy. What the heck? Guess I'll start with the burger. <laughs> not good. What is that? What is that, man? Oh, man. Oh, this smells nasty. Gummy eggs. Oh, oh. That's disgusting, dude. <sighs> oh. TV. We gotta get the TV. Yes. Woo. All right, arcade. Let's go! Yeah! Arcade! Arcade! Yes! Oh yeah, take that, you idiots! Yes! No! Oh, what did you do that for? Ah, oh, man, it messed up, it messed up. Oh yeah, I went right! Food has arrived. Now the thing is, they have to bring it to the treehouse or we don't get it. Please, can we scream? Um, that would make it worse. Yeah, I don't want to scare them. You want me to bring it over there? Yes, please! You'll have a good day. Yes! Spicy deluxe with pepper jack. Deluxe with American. Spicy with cheese. Mm. Whoa. Wonder what Justin's doing. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is going down and I am desperate for food. A water balloon attack! Yes! It is finally time for my revenge. I got a bucket of water balloons here. Let's show them what we're made of. <laughs> Take that! Oh, I almost got you. We can really just go inside. Let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm real nervous. Yeah, I'm real scared. Uh, I mean, I could take a nap right now if I wanted. Now, my eyes, except I'm blinded by the light. Wake me up for our next uh, balloon toss. The sun has completely disappeared. Not sure what the fellas are doing. It's time to call them. Hello? Fellas, what are you doing? Oh, well, you were just taking a nap. Well, it is like dark out, and I'm pretty sure it's been past 30 minutes, so it's time to pop another balloon. All 
if you say so. Yes, I say so. I mean, we've just been chilling in here. Our treehouse is just so nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna wake y'all up. I am gonna go insane if I don't get food. Yes! DoorDash. I'm ordering DoorSash. Door door <laughs> I can't speak. I haven't had any food. DoorSash. DoorSash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I am definitely ordering some Chick-fil-A immediately. And if they don't deliver it to my treehouse, I may go full insane. The order has been placed. Now we wait. We have got to get a TV soon so we can play video games. Oh, yes. TV. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> After a whole day in this treehouse, we can play games. Caleb thinks he can verse me in a 1v1. Look, here he is. This is him. Look familiar? Oh my. That's pre-haircut. Okay, now let's get my guy in here. Wow, sights. Wow. So I made all of our, each of us have a creative player that has their, their attributes are based off of our real life skill set. All right, let's go. Verse me, buddy. Oh no, Mitty. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, you're oh, oh my god. My god. Shoot it's my turn to throw again. Here we go. Huh? It just bounced off the balloon. Yeah, you almost killed it. That doesn't count, right? It sure as heck does. Well, I hit the balloon, so it should count. Just this once, okay? We'll give you a redo because that was pretty legendary. Thank you. Yes! Let's go. Here you go, pal. Prank call. <laughs> that sucks. Is that a reward or? It's just do it. <laughs> okay. Hello, Falcon Dollar Tree. How can I help you? Hey, quick question. Um, which toilet uh, do you guys recommend for use after Buffalo Wild Wings? I'm sorry, what? Oh, what are you sorry about? Sorry, I didn't hear you. If you were talking to me or... Uh, uh yes, what's your question? Uh, do you guys have any toilets for purchase after Buffalo Wild Wings? Um, no. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Another balloon in three, two. Yes! We got blanket. Justin got a tiny blanket, but we got a big blanket. And by we, I mean me, because you guys are visiting my treehouse, right? Maybe, yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh man, Harry. Oh, this is so comfy and so much room. Think of what I'm thinking, Caleb. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, share the load. No, I don't want to. Guppy hobbits. This is a good point. How <laughs> oh, you need my mouth <laughs> oh. You tickling monster. Oh. The door dash person just arrived. I am hoping they can walk over here in the dark woods and deliver it to me. No way, they're coming up. Hey, thank you. Thanks for doing this. Have a good night. Yes, it worked. Finally, my first meal. And fried. Mm -mm. It just hits different in a tree house, guys. I wish I had actual friends to enjoy a meal with, but gotta be grateful, must be grateful. All right, for this balloon toss, I'm gonna do it from the seat here. You can't be serious. I am serious. Well, I'm right here. It's okay, it's going right over it. Oh Ready, oh, three, no, no, no. two, one. You hit one, but it didn't pop. Well, I knocked it off the board. If I if I touch it. it and the grass pops it, does it count as a pop? Sure. Oops. We got snacks. Yes, yes. yes. Guys, I've got the snacks. We got a whole bunch of chips, beverages, get inside. Chips, chips. Yeah, I wanted those. I want these. I want these. I want these. I want I those. Okay, give me those. Okay. Yeah. No, I feel like we're pretty close to the full setup for an overnight. We got video games, snacks, whatever you want, comfort. Mmm. You're mine, orange balloon. What did I get? Pets. What could that be, boys? Justin, we've got your pet. Well, we've really got two pets for you. It's kind of like a two-part deal. There's, they're both tiny pets. I get to pick which one. I'm gonna go with the strange box. You sure? Yeah. What could possibly be in this instant coffee box? And why is it in this box? What is in this box? I don't want to do this. Holy! What the heck is that? Why is there a cricket in here? That's, That's your, your little pet. pet. Oh! Get out of here. I don't want this as a pet. Okay, you want an upgrade? I don't know. It could be worse. Okay. Right. What is this? I want you to listen to me very carefully. Why? I want you to hold the top, and I want you to lift the top only. Do not dump this out. 
<laughs> what? What's moving around in here? I don't want to look in here. Here we go. I'm opening the box. Oh my gosh. What is that? This is just a massive beetle. What the nuts is that? Well, he's kind of cool if you think about it. Look at him. He's just hanging up here. He's minding his own business. He's not fast crawly. Hey, what up, dude? How you doing? I don't really like you in my house, honestly. So you better get out of here. Oh, oh, holy nuts. Holy nuts. This thing is growling at me. Oh, okay, I kicked him off the edge. I liked him at first, but I don't like it when he growls at me. That was enough stress for the night. It looks like I still have two more balloons on my board. Which I'm officially opting out of popping any more balloons. I haven't really liked anything I've gotten besides DoorDash, so. Hi, I'm Joyce. I'm just gonna go to bed now because I've had enough of this. Oh, crap. Use my blanket, cover up. I'm already freezing. Hopefully the beetles don't crawl up the tree and join me again. I'm thankful, right guys? Good night. I think we've had enough fun to be honest. We don't need these balloons. All right, so what do we think for sleeping arrangements? I go couch. couch. Hey, who said it first? I Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, sweet. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, you can I call pillows. I call a chair. That's my blanket though. Oh. Ooh, this Surprise. is not bad, comfy mode. You ready? Yep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, oh man. Oh. Yeah, just unplug the TV. Good night. It's morning, guys. Wipa? I guess I'll go see what Justin is up to. I wonder how well he slept. First time coming down out of the treehouse in a while. All right, here's Tiny Treehouse. How'd you sleep? Horrible.